everybody. My name is Larry Gear Jr. My name is Lady Gear Review. Welcome back to more Majora's Mask. In the last episode, uh, we took a boat cruise over here after rescue some more tags. And this episode, we're going to be entering Sudoku Palace. This is the palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those of on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight into the royal chamber. Do not enter any of the other areas whatsoever. You know, if they're going to be keeping people f uh, from the those other two doors, why don't they just put, like, a fence up? I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't allow the likes of you in the royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. <gasps> he kidnapped the Deku princess? That jerk. He has a soul of the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. The foolish monkey is up in that cage. Take a good look at his face. They keep saying that I kidnapped the princess. No matter how many times they say, they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please believe my world words. Okay, when he's wording it like that, it does kind of sound like they did do it. Why do these monkeys keep being evil? Hey, who's that smart one? Okay, so what this monkey is saying is that we need to find uh, this dude uh, that sells uh, bean platform things. Um, what these do, what these beans do, the ba ba ba. What these beans do is that they create a little platform. Dang it! Okay, so what we want to do is that if these people would just move, then. Okay, I'm in a, I'm in a bad place right now. Uh, what we want to do is that we want to go over here, sneak around these sleeves, and go over here. Um, the heart piece is right, not right there. That's rude. Um. Careful right here because, uh, uh, as you can see, there's not a whole lot. There's not, there aren't very whole lot of places to hide, and there are two guards right here. But we got our first piece of heart. This project, clap for joy. Um, you can go ahead and get caught right here. Um, it's much quicker than trying to sneak your way, uh, back out there. Um. But now we're gonna actually, now we're gonna actually be going through the stuff that we're that we're supposed to be doing. Uh, let's do right. We're going inside the right guard here. Get it right, as in the thing. Yeah, whatever. Stupid guards just move, that'd be very nice. Alright. Dang it! I'm sorry, I just like the song. Um, uh, 
so this area is not really all that difficult. Uh, but it's this area is not all that difficult. It's just time consuming. Now we're gonna be wanting we're gonna want to go through that thing right there. You might take a first glance at this area and think this wasn't worth it. But if you're clever like me, you can see that there's a thingy over here. And yes, it's Shrek. Actually, it's not Shrek. Shrek's green. This guy's not green. And this guy gave us uh, the magic bean. It's uh, stuff that I explained earlier that lets you grow stuff. And this guy is giving um, it to us for free because he's nice like that. And for uh, and I'm back. Uh, let's um, switch the um, switch out the pixel ground camera thing with a um, whoops. Let's switch out the pixel ground thing with our empty bottle and turn it into and um, get some water, which is cool. I guess. Sort of, kind of, not really, maybe, no. that we're gonna get a leap platform um a lot of stuff like heart pieces and um, um i believe an empty bottle at one point uh, require you to get these things and they're very depressing to find and this part right here i really like um it is but there's just so much uh, going on in this one particular part. I really like this area. Alright. Uh, fly over that guy pretty carefully. Otherwise, you're going to get shot, and the guards are going to capture you, and you're going to die! Why do you keep doing that? this thing I barely made it did you see that and as you can see it's about uh, the screens going dark which means that it's going to be turning into... Wait for it. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Do these guards ever sleep? Because they're out here throughout the entire three day cycle. So, they're just pretty much staying out here and guarding the king while he's eating, like... Well, since the king, since the Degus are plants, I don't think they'd be eating stuff like salads, but... Okay, that makes me wonder, what do the, what do the Degu eat? Because uh, I really find it hard to believe that they eat meat, and I also find it very hard to believe that they, that they eat uh, vegetation. That's just ridiculous. Okay, now. 
Okay, so what we're gonna have to do right here is that we're gonna take out our Akavina. This is another one of my more favorite songs. It's not the number one favorite, but I still like this one. We learned this, the Sonata of Awakening. So now we're going to have to be going into the Deku, no, no, we already went to the Deku Palace, so we're going to have to be going into our first dungeon. Well, we're, we're going to have, it's going to be a little, uh, it's going to be a little bit longer before we actually do enter the temple. But excuse me, that was morally wrong of you. You do not attack a flying uh wooden thing. Alright, um these things I don't Okay, can you can you please enter the thing? Okay, these thi I don't actually remember what these things are called. But what you do to defeat them is that wait for them to appear under, and then just m destroy them. Anyway, now we're gonna be flying uh, through these uh, mushroom things so that we can um, go over to that thing over there. Right here, we're going to be learning something really important. Toot, 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 toot. This is a rare sight. You're the fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you hurry back to town. The swamp you're in is uh, Bag Nantok. to learn right here is that we get to learn uh, one of the more we get to learn one of the more useful
useful song to the game, the Song of Soaring. Now what this song does is that um, uh, in Clock Town, you may have noticed that there's an owl statue there. If you if you strike your if you hit if you attack the owl statues, then um, uh, that they'll be marked as checkpoints for when you use the song of soaring, so that uh, you can teleport between the multiple areas. Inside, um, we're in the area that's okay. This is the entrance area, sort of, kind of thing for our first dungeon. And if I could not fall in the poison water, that'd be very nice. And those guys over there, th these are really big jerks. Dang it. How you're supposed to beat these guys? Um, I believe that. How did I fall off? I believe with an item you'll get later in the. I believe with an item that you'll. Okay, that is very evil enemy placement. Stuff and why did that guy just sue me? Okay, this right here, I'm gonna, uh, uh, this is an example of, uh, um, this is an example of the owl statues I was talking about a second ago. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be going over here. And set over here. In here we have our first fairy fountain. Now I only have, to, uh, and I honestly have to say, uh, the the great fairy is quite possibly the creepiest thing in the entire game. The great fairies, um, nobody asked you. Um.
Thank you guys for watching Let's Play uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the next episode, we're going to be entering the first dungeon. See you guys then. Yeah.